Okay, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to construct a, a perpendicular bisector and then an angle bisector. This is going to be an element of future construction, so this is probably the most important thing that I'm about to teach you right now. This will show up again and again in all of the other constructions I'm going to show you. All right, now it's pretty simple. The first thing you do to construct a perpendicular bisector is put the point of your compass on one endpoint of the segment. Now, you need to open your compass more than halfway. All right, it has to go past the midpoint of the segment. Doesn't have to be exactly anywhere, but it needs to be more than halfway. All right, now, go ahead and draw yourself a big arc like this. And then we're, we're just going to switch sides. Don't, don't change the size of your compass. Just leave the size of your compass exactly the same. Just move the point of your compass to the other end point. And then go ahead and draw an arc that will intersect your first arc in two places, like this. So guess what? Those two intersection points that you can see show you where the uh, perpendicular bisector is going to go. Now I just lost my ruler. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, so all you have to do is draw the perpendicular bisector through those intersection points like that. And boom, perpendicular bisector. All right, so now I'm going to show you how to construct the angle bisector. So flip your paper over, and I'll show you how to do an angle bisector. So take your compass, put the point of your compass um, at the vertex of your angle. Now, it doesn't matter exactly how big your compass is right now, um, but draw yourself an arc that intersects both sides of the angle like that. So, I just taught you how to do a perpendicular bisector of a segment. So, all I'm really going to do now is I'm going to do the perpendicular bisector of this segment. See these two endpoints right here? All right, the two intersection points. I'm just going to do the perpendicular bisector of these two points. And then that will be the angle bisector. So let's remember how we did the perpendicular bisector a second ago. Um, we opened our compass. Well, you put the point of your compass on one point. You open your compass more than halfway. All right, so just go more than halfway to the other point. And then just draw yourself a nice big arc. Okay. And then you just move your compass to the other intersection point, And you draw another arc intersecting. Okay, so that little fish looking thing right there, that little plankton guy, that shows you where the bisector is going to be. All right, it's just, it's the perpendicular bisector of the two intersection points, but it's also the angle bisector. So just all these should line up. The two intersection points and the vertex of the angle should all line up nicely. And that's how you construct an angle bisector. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Go ahead and click here in the red apple to watch the next video. Click in the green apple to subscribe. Or click the yellow apple 
for the full playlist.